Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Danganronpa, episode five. Welcome back to High School of the Dead. Um, uh, Where no one's dead edition. yet. <laughs> oh, we think. I'm we pretty think. sure Shioko's dead. Um, or maybe she's just, you know, hiding in my bathroom. That's not weird at all. Uh, so let's just find out what Sayaka had to say to us. I went and had a look around the dining hall. Sure you did. I found a fridge in the back of the kitchen, and it was overflowing with all kinds of stuff. You went to the back of the kitchen? I can't even go there. That's good. I guess we don't have to worry about food, at least. Too bad none of us is the ultimate chef. There is actually the ultimate chef in the second game. Oh, that's convenient. <laughs> How There's also uh, the ultimate nurse in the same fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> They're in a much better position than these fuckers. We have, what, the <laughs> ultimate fanfic writer? What's he gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> Write smudge about each other? Anyways, speaking of the bastard... <laughs> for sure, for now. But even with all that, there are 15 of us. How long can the food last? I guess we're gonna have to shorten the numbers. <laughs> guess we're gonna have to see what happens on the chopping block. <laughs> you can't just eat sesame seeds or something. Huh? What am I, a parakeet? Oh, she said you can eat. I don't think we have to worry about it. All the food gets restocked automatically each day. I say, How? as somebody who's been here for like only one day. I'm so suspicious of her. Oh. At least that's what Monokuma said. Did he know? Mm -hmm. You saw him? Oh, really? Why'd you see him? Okay. Yeah, he came out of nowhere while I was checking the fridge. Told me that and then disappeared again. I think we should check the fridge. <laughs> He's just, um, uh, chilling in there. <laughs> he was so fast, I can't believe someone could have been moving him around with a remote control. That's a weaponized toy that can just appear out of nowhere. I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. I'm still suspicious of her, but I'm also scared now, because she says she wants to be my assistant, so that means she's going to follow me if I leave, right? But we're going to be alone, and she can hear my thoughts. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. But was everything okay? He didn't like to try to, like, eat you or anything. <laughs> I eat her? Why else would Malakuma come out and talk to somebody? Um, what, what, what do you mean by that? I mean... When you say eat, what kind of eating are we talking about here? Shut the fuck up! Come on, man! I'm talking hey, about master. cannibalism, not sex. What the hell, fatty? You acting like some kind of sleazy drunk dude! Actually... Not like there's a good kind of drunk dude. Hey, stop screwing around, all of you. Look at that hand, hold on. How do I... There was a button for this, I know there was. Where you hide the text? Yes. I did this before. <gasps> no! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Okay. Are you still asleep or something? We're prisoners here. We could all die any second. And you're making fucking sex jokes? Christ. I do not know how good of a hand that is. I bet that hand was difficult as hell to draw. Oh, shit. And a similar <laughs> hand. Oh my god. She's right. You, we can't be making stupid jokes right now. We gotta do something or scream splits the silence. Yep. <laughs> a voice cut through the noise, interrupting Mondo. You're all spending an awful lot of time yelling and carrying on. She's still mm -hmm. alive? Oh! <gasps> <laughs> Your fucking reaction. I can't wait till somebody actually dies. 
just to see your fucking reaction. Oh my Anyways. god. Do you really think you can afford to do so? Have none of you accepted the reality of the situation? Bitch, where were you? Yo. Kyoko, where the heck have you been? We already started the meeting without- <coughs> Without you! <laughs> she didn't say a word. Instead, she took a sip of water. <laughs> Instead, she just dropped a piece of paper on the table. Huh? What's this? It appears to be a map of Hope's Peak Academy. A map? What the? Where did you find this? Well, it doesn't matter where I found it. <laughs> Hand behind the ear. <laughs> it doesn't matter where I found it. It doesn't matter. It does matter! You're really freaking us out right now. But it's okay, we're all safe. But more we're fine. Never mind that. What's it mean? It would seem just look at it. The building we're in right now is laid out in precisely the same way as Hope's Peak Academy. Yeah, they didn't explain how we got to this building. Oh, am I on a different floor of the school? Is that why the map's different? Because that would make sense. Uh, there's two different maps of the first floor. Uh, there's the living part, and then there's the school part. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. So what you're saying is, this really is Hope Speak Academy? That's true. Well, in terms of construction, yes. But it looks like it's had a number of strange renovations done to it. All of my suspicions. What's happening? Renovations. However, I don't know all the details yet. All I found was details about the first floor. Um. But then, this really is Hope's Peak. We didn't just get kidnapped and taken to another place. So stupid, it's not even possible! This is where the country's future elite are supposed to come and learn? But, but if this is really Ho's Peak, where are all the other students? <laughs> Why don't you take a wild guess? Uh, hey, come on guys, let's just stop talking about all this, you know, negative stuff. Really bad for the skin. <laughs> But aren't you worried? Things don't look good. Yo. Worried? What's there to be worried about? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> I mean, this was all planned out, right? The people in charge of Pope's Peak put this all together, right? <laughs> Man, if I got stressed every time something like this happened, I'd, ha I'd have ectoplasm shooting out of my mouth. Alright, Jared, calm down. <laughs> What? <laughs> Good things. Oh god, I got something in my eye. Ooh, <laughs> I got an eyelash in my eye. Isn't I think. Here? Oh, <laughs> Good things come to those who wait, right? So we just gotta chill, and everything will work out itself. <laughs> Why are you laughing? What's so funny? <laughs> I'm just happy, that is all. It seems splitting up to investigate who was a good idea after all. <sighs> Haven't you been listening? Looking around was a total waste of time. We didn't even find a way out. We didn't find who's behind this. We still have no idea what's going on. Oh. Huh? Is it not crystal clear to you what's going on? Are you okay with this? It is perfectly obvious that we have been imprisoned in some secret location with no way out. None of us had any response to that. Look at her eyes. Stop staring at me. <laughs> she didn't want to accept that reality, but it was staring us right in the face. I guess it was. It still is. <laughs> you, you didn't have to go and say that. I'm trying not to think about it. 
No way out? Trapped here? What are we supposed to do? <laughs> it's very simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill. Stop it! Don't even joke about that. Um, everyone this is when I found out Biaki is the first to die. Please. Fiaka is the first to die. I'm gonna scream. <laughs> I'm gonna kill somebody. We need to stop and think about what to do from here. Seems like <laughs> there's gotta be something we can do. <laughs> All we can, <laughs> All we can do is adapt, adapt to living our lives here from now on. That's live here. Are you saying we should just accept it? So you can only graduate if you kill somebody, right? Yeah. Oh my god. Do you understand? A lack of adaptability is a lack of survivability. Survival is not based on who is the strongest or the smartest. It comes down to who can adapt. Actually. As someone who has come out on top more than once, <laughs> I have a suggestion. What? What? What do you mean? We all understand that we are trapped here, which means we will be spending the night. However, you all remember the rule regarding nighttime, yes? Right? My time is from 10 a.m. to 10. Wait, yeah. <laughs> Sleeping otherwhere than your dormitory is a punishment. Let's see. So, regarding this nighttime, I think we need to add a rule of our own. What do you mean? <laughs> Kill everyone off per night. <laughs> Going out at night time should be prohibited altogether. The school regulations do not actually tell us not to go out at night. I would like to make it official. Huh? But why? Are you okay with this? <laughs> I love her voice. The way things are right now, every time night comes, we will all start to get worried and anxious. <laughs> We will all be afraid someone might try and come kill us. Huh? What? <laughs> if we have to worry about that night after night, for who knows how long, it will wear us down in no time. I see. So, you're suggesting we limit our activity at night as a kind of preempt- as a kind of preventive measure? <sighs> Indeed. However, unlike the other rules, nobody can be forced to comply. We all have to agree to follow it. What can we do? I, I say what you mean, but I think I can agree to that. It's like the little goth leader said. Without something like that, we're just gonna self-destruct. Listen to me! On behalf of all the men here, I agree to comply! Um, okay. What? what? Hey, you can't just decide to speak for us! This is fine. So everyone is in agreement. Good. <laughs> then if you don't excuse me. Huh? Huh? What? Where are you going? Let's see. It is almost night time. I want to take a shower before it arrives. Oh, do they have public showers? I uh, no, they have well. a shower in their bathrooms, but like the note in your room said, the water turns off during night time. Oh. Uh, so, goodbye. I really, after Moving like- with pure elegance. ELEGANCE! The capital E! Celeste left the dining hall. After like, uh, like watching through this game multiple times, I still don't understand why the water is turned off during nighttime. In case someone leaves the water running and they go to sleep, you know? I it's guess It's a lot of so. water bill. Or they could just <laughs> fucking potentially drown themselves, but sure, let's worry about the water bill. Her behavior seems so natural, I couldn't imagine anyone even trying to stop her. Uh, so, I guess it's pretty obvious where we go from here. Uh, we'll be spending the night, it looks like. Does nobody fucking care about food? I'm pretty sure none of you have eaten since, like, the morning. Adaptability. Uh, so, Mr. Chairman, what next? One person already left. Um, well then, what say we call an end to today's meeting? You understand? Like she said, it's almost night time anyway. We can reconvene first thing in tomorrow morning. Huh? Right after someone dies. What can we oh really shit, I'm sorry. Have to say 
Do we really have to stay here? Overnight? We don't have a choice. We can't go over long without getting some sleep. I'm sorry, I skipped your line. I was too excited. <laughs> oh, this sucks. <laughs> so we just... So we have to just give up? That's all... That's all fine and good for today. But what do we do tomorrow? So in the end... Our only option is to split up and look around again. And let everyone know if we find anything. Your voice is getting harder to do every time. Yeah, okay. Aww. Let's do that. Then we're done for today? Good. I'm exhausted. With heavy movements, everyone headed off to their private rooms. Um, Makoto, um, are you ready to call it a day? Yeah, let's go. Don't murder me in my sleep, please. God, I love that. That was awesome. The way the room built itself. Yes. Is this really where I'll be staying for the foreseeable future? Oh, that's right. I should check the bathroom one more time before I go to bed. Only the girls' bathroom should have locks on them. Right? Alright, let's open it up. It's no use, it really is locked. Why is my door locked? Bzz, bzz, wrong, not locked. Holy crap! Jeez, talk about an overreaction. It's like you just saw a ghost or something. Like some kind of robot bear ghost. Welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's. That music. Yep, that's my theme oh, what song. Are you, what are you doing here? Makoto Nayagi, this super duper, this is super duper majorly bad. So bad it's almost magical. Hold your magical awful awful attack. Uh huh. And point of fact, I acknowledge that the bathroom in your room has a problem with the door frame. Wait, so the reason it won't open is is it because it's locked? The door just doesn't fit? Hey, yep, you um... can just piss on the floor, I guess. Didn't you notice? What, can't you read? The bathrooms in the boys' rooms don't have locks. Wait. I mean, a lock on a boys' bathroom is kind of pointless, don't you think? I disagree. Ba -bum, ba -bum. Well, it's not... That it's pointless, I guess, but I'm no expert on the birds and bees and all that. Listen up! Anyway, there's a little trick to opening this particular ill-fitting door. And that's what I'm here to teach you. Quick time event. <laughs> okay, ready? You just gotta turn the doorknob and then lift while you pull. I have a lot of doors like that in my yes, life. Indeed. Go ahead, give it a try. Turn the knob, lift the door up while I pull. When I did that, the door opened without a problem. <laughs> See, it opened right up. Isn't that crazy, though? Your door is the only one that doesn't fit quite right. I feel like that's going to be a huge problem at some point in the future. You're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But it looks like you're not lucky at all! Bye-bye! Anyways, I don't- I suddenly don't feel like being here anymore. Bye. Wow. Hey! Wait! Damn it. Ding dong, bing bong, baby. <clears throat> That's honey, it's night time. This is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining night. hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Yeah, they didn't eat all day. <sighs> okay, Why? then. Why did Sweet they do dreams, this? everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. 
I'm so scared. Looks like it's night time. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. All I can do now is try and get some sleep. While still mumbling to myself, I collapse into bed. My eyes closed almost immediately. It's not that I was ready for bed, exactly. I was just utterly exhausted. It was as if I'd spent the entire day staring at a TV watching movies. I wish that exhausted me, or like some kind of illusion where I'd been tossed into a made-up fantastical world. Yeah, that feels about right. There's no easy way to just accept the situation we've suddenly been dropped into. So this is how the curtain closed on my first day at Hope's Peak Academy. Soon enough, I was asleep. Would it be too much to hope that when I woke up, I'd realize it was all a dream? It's kind of lame as far as endings go, but I'd be fine with that. Actually, that'd be the best. Monokuma Theater. At any normal school, Mr. Monokuma would be a kind teacher. But when I think about what's coming up, I'm just so full of pride and joy. Our ceremony earlier today was absolutely splendid. Thank you all very much. Remember that you're all students of Hoax Peak Academy and strive to refine your ideals. I swear to you, I will send you all off into a new tomorrow! I'm sure. Did you enjoy that? Did you enjoy Monokuma Theater? I did. <laughs> there wasn't much. I'm wondering if like, so technically half of them could graduate. Theoretically. If they kill the other half? Yeah. What if you just made a pact to not tell on each other? They actually do talk about accomplices later in the game. Really? That's yeah. interesting. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine! I enjoy how he's, like, drinking red day. wine both at the morning and nighttime announcements. <laughs> the weird question is, how is he drinking them? Like a bear drinks water where he's just, like, licking it. But he's a robot. Slurping it with his tongue. But he's a robot. Doesn't mean he doesn't have a tongue. <laughs> Apparently it's morning, but thanks to the total lack of windows, there's no way to know for sure. Anyway, what should I do now? Maybe I should go find Sayaka, and we can figure out where to go from here together. She did say she's my sit now. Goes to her room. Oh no, she's dead! <laughs> okay, it's decided. I'm gonna head to her room. With a newfound determination, I left my room. Oh. Shit, how to make you go away. There we go. Why are you standing here, friend? I'm gonna avoid looking at you. <laughs> should I go talk to him? I mean, you can, but you don't have to. I really don't want to. Also, Saika's room is like right there. No. You just God, the controls are so weird. There's your room, and there's Saika's. I'm so conflicted because, like, he is right there. I mean, you can talk to him, it probably won't add no. much. Hey! Good morning! Makoto. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> yes, morning greetings are quite a delight. Such an energizing way to start the day. Now then, let's make sure we both do our very best throughout the day. Sh sure. I wonder if he's always like this. So, my conclusion is if I find Sayaka dead in here, you're the murderer. That's my conclusion. <laughs> Moving on. Um, there's a doorbell next to the door. I guess I should use that. Hello? Oh my gosh, she's alive. Oh. Good morning, Sayaka. Hi, oh, Makoto. Perfect timing. Huh? Um, listen, listen, I have a favor to ask. 
<laughs> Why is there a reaction? A favor? Um, I was just getting ready to head out. If it's okay, would you like to come with me? Maybe we could talk. Uh, woo. Yeah, sure. Where are you headed? Uh, um... Oh, um, I've been thinking that there might be something around here I could use for self-defense. Self-defense? Well, I mean, whoever's keeping us here could show up and attack us at any time. You never know. Whoever trapped us here. Whoever presented us with rules for murdering each other. Whoever put us in this insane position. She's right. You never know when they might attack. Um, so I just want to be able to protect myself no matter what happens. Um... A weapon to protect herself. Well, now that I think about it, that display case in the gym entry ray, in the gym entry way, had a bunch of stuff. Maybe. Oh, the gym. Okay, let's go. Stop doing that again. Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I have amazing intuition. You say that a lot. Those specifically two lines, back to back. <laughs> Am I really so easy pre to predict? Yeah, you're really anyway, predictable. We should head to the gym. Fern just hates walking around the school. We've got some good news. You can now tell. Ooh, I like that. Some opening mic. You're choosing where you want to go. You can't teleport to places that you haven't been. Mm. Or places that are blocked off. Certain story moments you won't be able to teleport at all! Are those moments where I'm being chased, baby? I hope not. Anyways, try not to teleport inside any walls. There's a chance you could get lost forever. Is that like an actual warning for like from like the game developers? A warning for what? <laughs> to not try to click on the wall so you don't get stuck in the wall if you teleport there. I haven't seen a situation where anyone got stuck in the wall. Also, this isn't the map you can teleport with. It's that map. It also shows where people are. That's... why? Wait. Because during the free time events, when you can, like, choose who you want to talk to, and you want to find somebody, then... It's easier to use oh. this rather than running around everywhere trying to find them. God. I, I really kind of want to check up on the other people too, though. <laughs> but I don't want to waste time. Why is the bath locked off? Did I just teleport? Yeah. Why is she over there? Okay, so... I'm so confused. How did I already get lost? I just um, came here. Walk through the gate. And then now go to the map. And then now you can go to the gym. So those two are there. She's there. There's a school store. Gym over here. Should I be exploring though? Is exploring really important though? Um. I'm talking to miscellaneous people. Talking to miscellaneous people isn't really that important. Unless you just want to find out, like, extra- like, they just have, like, filler dialogue that can oh. be interesting sometimes, but most of the time I... it's not that- it's kind of a waste of time. I'm not interested hey, in that. Um, here we go. I might be able to find something here to protect myself with. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure I'll find something in this display case I can use. All right. Oh uh, my god. Let's check out the display case uh, on our next episode of Dangan Rompa. 
They're gonna frame her because they're gonna find a fucking display case trophy next to a dead body, aren't they? I'm so scared. First you were scared about her murdering someone and now you're scared about her dying. Look, okay, my emotions change very quickly. <laughs> Just like with Kyoko. You were your- who you were convinced is the mastermind, and now you were con totally convinced she was dead. I was completely convinced. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Anyways, um, next time on Danganronpa, we'll find something in the display case that Saika can use for self-defense. Bye. Bye.